After two classical games ended in draws, it's time for rapid play between world number two Karuana and the 18-year-old Pragnananda. The game opens with one e4 and Prag responds back with e5. Knight comes out to f3, knight c6, bishop c4, it's the Italian. Prag responds quickly with bishop c5, c3, the knight comes out and now pawn up to d3. It's 25 minutes plus 10 seconds increment. H6 played by Prague, stopping Bishop G5 ideas that Karuana had played in the classical game. D6 now. Of course, both players excellently prepared here. Rook comes to E1 and now Prague simply castles it out. H3 played. This is all very standard stuff in the Italian game. Pawn to a4. Karuana wants to gain space on the queen side. Prague brings his bishop back to a7. He just likes this maneuver of a6, bishop a7. You can see him playing in many of his games. And now the next maneuver of rerouting the knight from c6 to g6. The bishop drops back. Prague gets his knight to g6. And now Fabi also makes the same maneuver of his knight going to g3. Prague plays his pawn up to c6. Knight comes out to g3. You can see the position is very symmetrical. And now Prague gains a lot of space in the center with d5. Bishop comes out to e3. And now the bishop drops back. Black has two bishops nicely pointing in this direction. Bishop c2 and rook e8. For the time being, the position is roundabout equal. But look at Karuana trying to gain space on the queen side with his pawns here. Prague goes bishop e6 and now the bishop comes back to d2. Not particularly a great idea but queen c8 was played by Prague. Queen e2 moved and now bishop up to d6. White has more space and Karuana starts to get the small edge here by pushing his pawn to c4 but Prague had this idea of knight f4. If you take he wants to take back with the pawn and attack the knight. So Karuana brings his queen back to f1. And now the pawn is pushed forward to c5. b5 played here. And these pawns are very dangerous. So Prague now fighting for space. And I guess a move is c4. He pushes his pawn to c4 to get the c5 square for himself. But Karuana places his bishop so beautifully, looking at the e5 pawn, also at defending his a5 pawn. Bishop d7, attacking b5. And now, rook d1, excellent move. Somewhere in the air is a sack on h3, but Prague has not really been able to figure that out. So he goes queen c5, and Fabi defends it with rook b1, also threatening bishop b4. So the bishop drops back to f8, saves itself. And now he's threatening to take this. So he goes b6. Now a good exchange sacrifice would have been take, take, take. And black is doing pretty okay there. But instead he goes g6. Not a good idea by Prague. Queen e1. Excellent move by Karuana. Slowly he's getting an initiative flowing. Bishop g7. And now knight e2 to exchange off this active piece. But instead he goes queen d2. And Prague badly needs to create some play with h4, h5. But he goes here and now bishop takes e5 is an excellent move because takes, takes and white is winning a pawn. But instead Karuana misses it. He goes queen d6. Also a very strong move because white keeps a very big edge. But Prague had this little trick up his sleeve. If you take here, he wants to go knight e2 check. Karuana takes, check here. Prague being very, very calm there and being very resourceful in this bad position takes the knight takes the bishop the rook is attacked on e8 king takes and now Karuana needs to take care of his rook which is hanging on b1 so he goes rook a1 and now Prague is in a not a great position because these pawns are very risky so first Fabi takes rook takes and now you could take the pawn on e5 but that could become very risky with the rook coming in. So king e1 first stopping rook d2 and now he takes. He takes here rook e8 and f4 would be a good move because f6 there is king d2. Instead he goes king d2 directly 
and now Prague takes on e4 the position is now around equal but it's still very dangerous if the white king can at some point come in this way he would be better so Prague has to be careful rook b5 king comes up and now important to activate your own king but instead he gives a check well Prague is banking on his c pawn but it's not the most important pawn this pawn is important king f6 decent move here king c5 now very important to go king e7 to stop king d6 but he plays c3 white is completely winning now fabiano caruana's king is entering the position and you know essentially white has to just give up his rook for this pawn and then he can get his king in and that would be just game over for prague 23 seconds for fabi to make this work he goes king d6 excellent move prague in big trouble now he goes c2, he's threatening rook b1, so you have to play rook c1, you have to address that. And now, the point is, even if you go bishop d3 and rook b1, which Prague does, bishop d3, his idea is rook b1, you're going to lose this because, yes, he takes the pawn and these two pawns are super strong along with the king. Rook b1 and Fabi sacrifices his rook. Now white is completely winning here. He comes back with his bishop, fine move here, bishop d3, b7. Bishop comes back and now the king moves in. So, Prague gives a check and he has to block with the bishop now. He blocks it. He blocks it here. Bishop takes pawn. King takes and now the a pawn is going to queen. Rook c2. Push a6. No blunders. F4. This was an important tempo because now the white king gets in. Not a good idea by Fabiano Caruana. He should have just pushed his pawn and he would have won that game. King c7. Now, Rook a2, that one move is going to cost Caruana a lot because Prague takes here bishop d5 and now it's time to sacrifice the rook and the king comes in. Prague has calculated it all. He's going to win these pawns. White tries to bring his king back. f5, king c5, g5. All that Caruana needed was one more tempo which he had wasted with the move f4 and now Prague is getting that draw. What a miraculous defense by Prague. He was losing so many times in this game. But somehow he managed to hold. Caruana playing till the very end. Makes a queen. And now Bishop takes a draw. Whew. Prague dodged a bullet there. Let's look at the position from here. Caruana made the big mistake of pushing his pawn to f4. Instead, if he had played the move a6 here, then Prague would have taken the pawn a7, he would have gone back a8, takes, takes. And in this position, every one move, every single tempo is important. And white is just in time to stop the pawns. After king d7, f5, you want to play g5, g4, but king e6 just stops that in time. And after f4, king f6, g5, king g6, it's a draw. There's no way for white to make, uh, there's no way for black to hold this game. Instead, in the game, if you see, after this, check. This was reached, and after king g3, if Caruana tries to go this way, already he's several moves behind and here Prague managed to draw the game.